Yo, what's going on guys? So the season one reloaded update is finally here and of course it has come with a bunch of issues. Well, duh. You guys know if we go to the battle pass, first of all, we've got two new weapons, the new LMG and also the new SMG, which can be found right here. It all sounds fine until you try to unlock this HMR9 in this sector. Turns out the sector's completely locked and there's nothing you can do about it. Hold up. I almost gave up. I'll be honest. That's until I figured out that there is a bundle in the store with a blueprint for this new SMG. So unfortunately I had to buy it. I did that just for you guys. Please do me a favor and drop a like. And the crazy part is even the blueprints bugged. Look at this. Watch me try to remove this site. It takes me all the way back to the menu. Either way, what we are going to be doing, as always, is unlocking the camos on the new weapon. You guys know new weapon means a new set of four basic camos, and we are going to be unlocking every last one of them until we get into Stella. So for the first one, we need to get 50 operator kills. That's fine. Then we need to get it to level eight and get 25 hit fire kills. Then we need to get 10 crouching or sliding kills at level 12. And then finally, for the final base camo, we need to get kills whilst people are affected by my tactical at level 18. And then we can work on all of the mastery camos for it. But we've also got Rio 24 seven. So let's get into some of that. No shipment though. So this is gonna take a little bit longer. So here we go with Rio, the new map for this update. It's funny because I have already played this map. I played it at the event earlier, a couple months ago. I dropped a video on it. If you guys saw that video, then you've seen this already. But it's cool to play it with people that aren't all the way sweaty. Oh, okay. This SMG doesn't feel too bad. What I need to do, though, is add a double weapon XP token. Thank you. It's annoying. I would rather not waste these, but we haven't got shipment, so I don't really have a choice. I need to use them. Yeah, I don't know what it is with this game at the moment, but every time they add an update, there's issues. <laughs> it breaks the game. So I will have briefly talked about it, but at the moment, Warzone is completely chalked. You literally cannot pick up your loadout without it making your screen flash. It's the most insane thing ever, I'll be honest. Ooh. Come here. Oh, no, I don't want assist. Oh, this mag, it's only a 30 round mag and it shoots so fast. This map looks nice though. I like the colors on it. This was the one I was more so looking forward to when I played all of the maps. And I was surprised when they didn't drop it straight away with season one, but this blueprint doesn't look too bad either. It's got a cool animated side on it, but we must unlock Interstellar in this video. Woo! No matter how long it takes. It's cool because when we do that, we're also able to see how all of the attachments are on the weapon. We're also able to rank up the weapon all the way through rather than just me using it for a few games when it first comes out. We can actually rank it up, see what the attachments are because there could be some really unique attachments on these weapons. We've seen it with a bunch of them. That could change this weapon completely. So who knows? Oh, well, there we go. We got a 50 operator kills. Big grin. <laughs> what the? What sort of name is that? So now, honestly, we just need to focus on ranking up the gun because we can't do the next challenge until level eight, I believe. That's the only slow part of getting into Stellar on these weapons, man. It's never the actual challenges. It's literally just ranking the gun up. Oh man, there we go. 104 kills is kind of crazy. I'm just hoping that nothing else is bugged because everything in this update is completely broken. Let's have a look. Let's just double check to see if the progress is working. Okay, so we got the first camo. We might as well whack that on, even though we can hardly see it. Bear in mind, when I do get this unlocked, if it's not fixed and I still cannot use the base weapon with none of this stuff on the side of it, then I'll hop into custom games because I know it works there. I want to see how it looks with Interstellar once we get it. Even the iron size. I want to see that as well. Moments later. Okay, so I just learned something. I know how to take the attachments off now. So you can do it in game. What you need to do is go to the gunsmith whilst you're in the game and don't deselect them one by one. You want to deselect all. And now... There we go. We got the iron size. What the? This reminds me of a mini M27. What? Alright, no more fun in games. I need to make use of this double weapon XP that I've just used. But no, honestly, these iron sights have made me like this gun so much. Oh, excuse me. That still hit me? These iron sights have made me like the gun so much more. I don't know how to explain it, but you guys know how important iron sights are. So the fact that they've got some good iron sights, I will take that. So Raven Software, the people that make Warzone now, just issued a statement on Twitter saying, upon deliberation with our teams, we've decided to temporarily disable the new Champions Quest feature. And I just got disconnected from the servers. What's going on? <laughs> 
Oh, look, there is a cool attachment. This one's got an integrated suppressor at level 17. See, this is why I do this stuff. And also, for the magazines, there's a 50 round drum that we need to get. It's got a no stock as well. Okay. Oh, wait, this barrel completely changes the eye size. This is like the ground. Wait, no, these eye sights are clean, though. It reminds me of what is it, the Archangel barrel? You guys know what I'm talking about. I promise you all I need now is the 50 round mag and we are good. I'm on 10v10 just because I want to get as many kills as possible. Rio's good, don't get me wrong. And it's actually a really good map to get a bunch of kills. It is, but I feel like 10v10, I can get a lot more kills. So let's try our luck. Oh, that lunge was insane. What? Yo, why is the lunge crazy on the... Oh, okay. Yeah, 33 kills. What does that mean? Am I getting accused of cheating? Is that what's going on? I swear, if I do bad, I get laughed at. If I do great, I get accused. There's no winning for me. I'm just trying to level up my gun as fast as possible. I'm sorry to ever get affected by that. This gun is winning gunfights, though. I have to... Never mind. This gun is definitely winning gunfights, though. I'm surprised. It actually feels really good, especially with the iron sights changing with the barrel. The first iron sights were good, don't get me wrong, but now, though, with these iron sights, ooh, your vision is a lot more clear when you aim down sights. Look at that. It's just like the ground one. That's why we were able to run around with the ground with iron sights and beam people from long ranges. It's literally because the iron sights were clear and thin like this. Okay, now we've got it to level 15 of 18. It's actually going decently quick. We just need to get to level 18 to finish off this final challenge. Well, I say finish off the challenge. I mean, we can actually start doing these challenges and then we can work on the mastery ones, which in this game won't actually take as long as the Modern Warfare 2 ones did. It's about damn time. Leveling up this gun hasn't been too bad because it's only 18 levels. That's not too bad. I've definitely seen weapons with way worse. Let's just say that. Oh my, bro, can I get a bigger mag? By the way, I thought, okay, maybe I'll be able to add a magazine on this weapon since I've basically got it max level now. Nope, no, I cannot. Turns out, I think the whole magazine thing is completely broken, so I just won't be able to do that. Oh, there we go, level 18. So now we can do the challenges. So we need to get hit. Oh, 50 round jump unlocked. Can I use it? No, I can't. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I need to get hip fire kill, so let's do that. Thank you. Ooh, the hip fire is actually really good. They also just announced that they have delayed ranked play. So ranked play was supposed to come out today with the update, and they've decided to delay it, bro. Everything is wrong with this update. Literally everything. It's so weird. I don't know how they've messed it up so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not even too sure how many hip fire kills I need. Oh, I also need to get kills whilst crouched or sliding. So I might as well do that at the same time. What am I doing? Oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. Lavender Sands unlocked. We got the hip fire kills done. So now I can just get the kills whilst crouched. Oh, there it is. We got the heart of the way too. Ocean Waves. That one looks like it could be really good. And then what's the other one that I need to do? Oh, kills whilst people are affected by my tactical. So I need to put on a flash grenade or a stun grenade. Let's do that. And now I just need to get kills whilst I've got this on. Hopefully that shouldn't be too bad. I've always hated this type of challenge, man. Okay, yeah, you back up into that corner. How did that not stun him? I'm so confused. How? Where is shipment when you need it, man? Literally on shipment, you can just throw a stun and it's like almost guaranteed to hit someone. Oh, that's two of them. Oh, wait, we got it. There we go. Thank you very much. Get me out of this game right now. So that means we have all of the base camos done and we can now start working on the completionist camos. So for gold, I need to get kills without the enemy damaging me. That is so easy. Then we need to get 25 kills whilst aiming down sight shortly after sprinting. That's easy. I'll take that. And then finally, we need to get 15 operator hip fire kills. What? That's an easy interstellar. We're almost there then. Come on. Let me show you guys what happens when I try to add a magazine, by the way. They're both locked. You guys saw it unlocking game. I can't use it. Let's try and get gold though. So for gold, we just need to get kills without taking any damage. 
We took damage. Yeah, that was wrong. We just need to get kills without taking any damage, though, which shouldn't be too bad. I was doing that really easily before I needed to do it. It's so crazy because in every video, damn near, for the past few uploads, I've been talking about this update and how much I cannot wait for it. It drops and everything is broken. <laughs> how insane is that? Get me away, get me away, get me away. That guy isn't playing. That's an easy kit. Oh, there we go. Gilded unlocked. Thank you. So the next one was... And what was the next one? The final one is hip fire. Damn. 20 minutes later. Okay, I know what the next one is now. That took me a while. Shortly after aiming down sights. That's what I need to do. That one should be really easy as well. I'm not sure how many I need to get, but... I'm just going to keep aiming down sights. There we go. I feel like most of my kills are shortly after aiming down sights anyway. what shortly after aiming down sights is to be honest with you i don't know the timings does it have to be insanely quick or is it just like a regular kill i don't know wait there we go how many of these did we need we got the advanced uav though let's call that in we're kind of popping off right here i'm just trying to do this oh there we go forged unlocks now i need the hip fire kills come on the, that was the craziest dive of my life. Okay, I've made a hip fire build for this gun. Apparently, we only need 15 hip fire kills as well. So we should be able to unlock Interstellar. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't even know if I'm going to show all of that, but I completely wasted my time in a game just before this one trying to get hip fire kills. Turns out it's hip fire kills while sliding. I literally got all 15 kills and was wondering why it didn't work. Whereas I was just being an idiot the whole time. Come here, buddy. <laughs> okay, so I think it's the low blow pop-ups that I need. By the way, if I didn't show it already, here's the gold cabo. Looks beautiful. At this point, I just really want Interstellar, man. I'm so scared that it's bugged because everything in this update is bugged. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is too. Oh, no. There we go. I was just saying as well how with this magazine being broken, but everything else being broken in the game too, I don't know how high this is going to be on their priority list in terms of fixing it because they need to fix everything else too. So who knows? There we go. Get me out of there, please. Wait, I got it. Priceless. Come on. That means... Okay, we don't get the Interstellar pop-up, but that means we've got Interstellar. So get me out of... In fact, no. Let me call in this Overwatch helo. Help my teammates out before I leave. And then if we go over to the new SMG, we now have Interstellar. Finally. The crazy part about this is I don't think... Yeah, we still can't even use the base model of the HRM. If we go to the Battle Pass, this sector is completely locked. You can't actually get it yet until you buy the bundle <laughs> and use the blueprint. That's insane, by the way. Disgusting! Okay, so here is the platinum camo. It doesn't look very crazy. Let's be honest. We all know how forged looks. I just feel like I have to show it off on every single one of the weapons. Why does this look like regular platinum, by the way, rather than forged? Oh, this weapon is good though. I can tell with the right setup and when you're able to use the right setup. When the game isn't broken, I can already tell this is going to be a good gun. I really can. Next up, we have got Priceless. It's inverted because of the blueprint, I guess. I'm going to hop into custom games after this so we can see how it actually looks on the base weapon. But this one looks cool too. <laughs> I like the inverted version of the camo sometimes. And then here it... Oh, what? Bro, this is the inverted version of Interstellar. What's going on? I'm not going to lie. It looks cool with the green stuff on the side. But listen, man, I just unlocked it. I want to see how it actually looks. Okay, I had to go into custom games, but here it is with the Interstellar camo on it. It looks nice. I'm not going to lie. It looks cool. Just how Interstellar looks in general. But bro, this is the mini M27. I'm telling you. You guys know I had to unlock this though. This is what I do. When a new weapon comes out, I'm going to get Interstellar on it straight away. Anyway, that's enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. We got it unlocked. This update though... It's a mess. I'll be honest. This is all over the place. Everything is broken. Completely broken. This gun is insanely good though. I can already tell because it has a bunch of different barrels on it that change the feel of the gun completely. One of them also has an integrated suppressor, which also means you can basically get six attachments on this gun for the price of five. I'm sure once we get the 50 round drum on this thing as well, you can get no stock and then the integrated suppressor long barrel with the nice iron sights. Bro, this is going to be so nice. But yeah, man, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.